Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at how to add a uh, graded item into your gradebook when it's not actually attached to any particular assignment within Moodle. Alright, so once we're in Moodle, we're going to go over to Grades. Once we're in Grades, we've got all of our grade stuff here. Everything's looking hunky-dory. Under Grader Report, we are going to slide down to Gradebook Setup. All right, now once we're here, what we want to do is add a graded, uh, add a grade item. So what you're thinking, what what you would be using this for is there's plenty of times you're creating things within Moodle that have a grading component. So discussions do, assignments do, H5P. There's lots of things that have it, but there may be things in your course that there's nothing directly tied to something within Moodle. Uh, that is an activity within Moodle, and in those circumstances, you're going to come in to this area and you're going to add a grade item. A good example of this is maybe in your if you meet face to face you have students completing uh, in-class writing assignments or presentations actually are a really good example where they're presenting in class or they're presenting on zoom and they're they're not submitting anything. So you come in here you go add grade item as always you need to give it a title so maybe we'll do presentations. We want to decide, do we want this to be a value? Do we want it a scale? Do we want it a text? We're going to stick with value. We're going to default to the 100 score and just keep moving down. Now, the next thing we want to actually take a look at is grade category. So where does this fit within the categories of your grade book? Uh, so sometimes in uh, a grade book, you will have, you know, uh, participation is 20% and uh, discussions are 25% and major assignment, which is broken up to a few things is, you know, another 30%, what have you. Under grading category, you'll select where that might fit in. So it's a presentation. I'm going to decide that goes under exhibitions. What this will do is whatever the rating, whatever the weight is for exhibitions, this will now be one piece of it. And it'll also put it under uh, the exhibitions category in the gradebook. So let's hit save changes and see what happens. All right, we've hit save changes. And now if we scroll down to exhibitions, right there is presentations. And so just notice that it is different from some of these others. Each one of these are hyperlinked and also uh, it has these little icons next to it. So all of that's great. It's done. I have it now in my gradebook. But what about when I want to grade it? Well, when we're done, when we're ready to grade it, we always want to go back to grades. And then we're going to come down to this area and we're going to scroll to wherever that assignment is. And in this case, it is all the way down here on the right under exhibitions. We can see it's right here under uh, presentations. So when we're ready to grade, all we're going to do is click on that little pencil icon right there. It brings us to single view for presentations, which brings up each of the students. So I can go through, I can add in students' grades, you know, they've done their presentations. I can jump in here to provide feedback. What I can also do right down here is I can do a bulk insert. So if, for instance, in this case, it will default to, say, any empty grade. So if I go through and grade all the students, anything that I haven't graded, I can perform a bulk, import, uh, bulk insert. I can select empty grades, meaning anything that I haven't put a grade in, and insert the value. So it might be zero, and then I'll hit save. Any of those will, all of anything without a grade will be turned to zero. I could also just do for all grades, and maybe everybody did amazing, and I want to make sure everybody gets full credit, so I might do something like perform bulk insert, all grades, insert value 100, and hit save. And now notice their grades have been turned to 100. So that's it. It's really simple. It's a quick and easy tool that you can make use of and uh, really allows you to go beyond just things that are in Moodle and provide grades or things that will be not just in a face-to-face -face course but might be outside of Moodle. You might have students doing a blog or working on some other site to which you want to give their feedback and you can do that by just adding that uh, grade item. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much.